Should you pull for Celtius? Let's start by explaining his attacks. Blaze Thrust, his skill 1, deals 5 split HP attacks, healing the party by the HP damage dealt, up to 30% of max HP, granting party battery by 20% of the HP damage dealt, and granting half of a Phoenix for 6 turns. Reversal Drive, the skill 2, deals 6 split HP attacks, and also grants half of a Phoenix for 6 turns. His EX, Redemption, ignore that I just voice crack right there, is an instant turn rate ability that revives everyone in the party, including 6-man, by 100% of their max HP, gives the party brave by 80% of Celtius's max brave, increases his skill use by 1, fills everyone's EX gauges by 20%, and granting his overhead apocalypse-defying twin wings for 8 turns. Let that soak in for a second. Oh, it also force charges. Revelation, his LD, deals 10 big AOE HP attacks, granting the party brave by 200% of his own attack, and granting the buff Watcher of Vanadeal for 12 turns. Eclipse Lance, the FR attack, heals the party by 80% of their max HP, up to 80% of max HP, and if they reach the max already, it allows for overheal by 30%. And finally, the Faded BT, Luminous Lance. The finisher will inflict onto all enemies the debuff Luminous Lance for 8 turns. The effect itself also lasts for 8 turns, giving a party HP cap up of 30% and upgrading his HP command to Crystal Diver. God dang it, I voice cracked again. Crystal Diver is a sizable 11 AoE HP attack move that grants the party brave by 200% of Celtius' attack. It heals the party by the HP damage dealt up to 50%, grants the party brave again by 20% of the HP damage dealt, extends any active buffs by one turn, and lastly, filling his EX gauge by 20%. Moving on to buffs and debuffs, half of a Phoenix grants a party max brave up by 20%. Apocalypse defying twin wings, the overhead, grants the party both an HP regen and a brave regen by 10% of the max HP and 200% of the initial brave, respectively. Watcher of Vanadeal is a buff that increases the turn user brave by 10% of their max brave whenever they deal a brave attack. Finally, the infamous Celtius's Luminous Lance, given by his BT finisher. It is a gold frame debuff that will sap 1% of enemies' health every turn, and is also a paralysis in which they are not able to act. His force conditions. The first 40% requires a party member to have at least max health when their turn finishes. The second 40% requires a magic ability to be used. Is Celtius Celtius's BT necessary? Yes. His BT gives you access to the rest of his supports, as well as his very good Paralysis HP Poison, and Crystal Diver, by far his strongest attack. Without the burst, he loses his best offensive assets, and his ores outside of his BT aren't as good as other great support units we already have in the game. Should you pull for Celtius? Well, first of all, dealing consistently 11 multi-target HP attacks for a non-DPS is nothing to scoff at. His big damage also comes from his Poison, which which, by the way, you don't have to worry about it getting power crept either, because it's always proportionate to the current enemy's health. Him also making the enemy unable to act is just the whipped cream on top of the cake for an already broken debuff. Obviously, you might not want to rely on it when the enemy takes a lot of turns, but 8 turns is plenty enough to deal with enemy turn warping here and there from force gauge or HP thresholds. On the utility side, Celtius isn't that much of a slouch either. We gotta address the fact that his EX can revive dead party members, basically Ishtola's EX if you can remember hers. What's great about this type of revive is that you don't need to use up a BT like Aerith to revive people, you can use it as many times as you want in battle. I also appreciate most of his skills giving both healing and battery for the entire party, including his strongest attack Crystal Diver. Having passive support through his Brave and HP regen is also a really nice bonus. Lastly, for magic teams, although there are no HP cap ups built within it, I do think Celtius's FR is strong and generic enough to be your main. With most of his skills giving burst healing, including even his strongest attack, it'll be pretty difficult to not have your health at max. I only have a few gripes with him. First off, amazing as his debuff is, it can restrict him slightly in who he can pair with. Remember that Luminous Lance makes the enemy unable to act, so if you have counters on your team who require to be attacked with Celtius, they won't be triggered. Secondly, in regards to his revive, which I still think is really handy for a rainy day, he himself
himself doesn't provide any protection to the party. He doesn't nerf enemy attack. He doesn't buff his own. He doesn't buff party defense, nor does he have any sort of last stand. And if he dies, that's it. The revive is gone. In conclusion, Celtius is a very fun and unique magic unit with a hell of a badass look. I personally will be pulling for him. Let me know your guys' plans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.